is Uncle Mark in the mothership with a three string cigar box guitar playing through my vintage 47 amp. I'm clean, clean tone, little bit of reverb in that. I'm also uh, using my looper. This is an RC30. Um, I do have a video on how to use the RC30, um, and I will put that video down there in the show notes, let you know how that goes. And so uh, I'm going to loop on the fly here. So uh, we're going to be playing this song, and then we'll uh, break down, break down by Tom Petty. So the biggest impediment to this song, all right, aside from the, the chord shapes that you're going to be using, is the little phrase that does this. Okay, so it's a, it's a fairly hard maneuver. So let's go through these chord shapes. So if you uh, have your guitar tuned G, D, G, this first note and this or this first string and this last string back here the fat one and the skinniest one are both G so G G sharp a B flat B C C sharp D D sharp E F F sharp G and then in the upper register everything past this G here G sharp A B flat B C C sharp D so on and so on and so forth your middle string, though, is a D. So it starts out at the zero fret D, D sharp, E, F. That note is really important. F sharp, and see where the dot is, right? Just remember that's an F. F sharp, G, just remember where the dot is, but you're on that middle finger, that middle string. Okay, there's a G, G sharp, A. B flat B, C, C sharp D, D sharp E, okay? So that's kind of where you're operating from. The shapes that I use for this song, the song is A, G, and F, okay? The shapes I use, all right, put my finger on this A and you can look at your dots. Then I put my third finger on an E and I put my pinky on the E and that's the entire shape and I just slide up and down with this shape. So, and uh, for me, I need to start out with a rhythm before I start, like a one, two, three, four, or you know how your drummer will go, one, two, three, four, tap his sticks together. I kind of do this for myself because I kind of need to know my flow. So 
I'm going to hit down once and slide. And then jangle, jangle. So it's a, and I'm bringing my whole shape down. Um, this is going to, this is going to turn out to be the most difficult part of this song for you to learn is to take this shape and slide it. Anytime you slide, your accuracy is incredibly important. So you can practice using uh, different, you know, using parts of this chord, right? Or you can do the whole thing. But you should be practicing all your chords up and down the scale. So, you know, you should be practicing D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, and then being able to go from B to E, B, E, B, E, A, E, A, E, B, E, B, E, A, E, A, E, B, E, and try to do that as quick as you can and lock in those positions and those chords. That will really help you in the future. Also climbing up the ladder, so to speak. Climbing up the ladder. So, up and down. Up and down and back and forth will really help you with this type of maneuver. So you're coming down. So it's a... That's what you're doing. It's all right if you love me. It's all right if you don't. I'm not afraid of you running away, honey. I get the feeling F you won't. And the beauty of this shape is you never change the shape. You never change the shape. You're not going from A to G to F. You're going to stay in this shape. A, G. Okay? So you can go. Break down. Go ahead and give it to me. Break down, honey. Take me through the night. Break down. So you can just keep playing like this. Break down. It's all right. It's all right. Now, when I first started doing this song, before I was in rock bands and stuff, I would just play it. Ain't no reason pretending. Okay? And that's certainly totally fine. Okay? There's nothing wrong with that. Play it the way you want to play it. It's your song. You phrase it the way you like it. Your interpretation is best. You do it your way. There are some people that will always be the same. They'll do it the exact same way. They want the album version. Great. You do it the way you want to do it. But, but that's a great way. The little trick up here, you put your first finger here on this A, and you're just going to play in this box, okay? So you're here. Then you're going to hop to the E. Then you're going to go E to D. Then you're going to hop to the A. Slide down to the E. So it's really simple. You're just in this little box and you just have to slide there. So if you wanted, you could tap your foot. through this. You don't need a looper to play through this stuff. Okay? All you need is some type of a rhythm. So just remember it's A, G to the E and then E, D to the A and then you go from the G to the E. And I always cross my fingers. And 
that's just a habit. I watched Eric Clapton really close one time. I was at a concert and I was in the front row basically. And I watched Clapton play and he always did these these little tricks where he's using these fingers as opposed to these two in the right positions. He's jumping over with his second finger. So that's what I learned. <laughs> so I started playing that way. You find your path. Your path is the best path for you. But uh, there's how to do that. There's also a little phrase where you take the um, these two strings, the D string and the G string, and you're up here at the 12th fret. That's a little trick to get used to. So you're. And remember that shape, you're here. You want to slam down to that F. Okay, so remember your next move as you articulate your, your thoughts through this, right? So you're uh, here. First finger down. Okay, so that's how I think. It's always that one step ahead. You're always thinking of that one next move, whatever that move is. Um, and then you're working with your phrasing, with your vocals. I always have to start this song this way. It's all right if you want me. It's all right if you don't. So I always have to start like that with my phrasing, especially in this song. I have to get it started that way. Um, some songs are like that where you need some, some intro to get you going. Um, I can do it if I have a guy drumming, I can do it if I have some bass player working, but I need something to get me started rhythmically to get this song moving. Uh, that's just me. So, breakdown, we broke it down. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Killer song. Um, so down below in the show notes is a virtual tip jar. It's a paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. Thank you for your donations. Thank you for everything you do for me. Definitely check out the Looper lesson. If you haven't, um, I think the RC30 here is the best darn Looper in the world. Uh, boss gives me nothing. I don't want nothing from Boss except quality products. So uh, anyway, it's Uncle Mark and the Mothership. Thank you so much for everything you do for me.